Oh, I didn't see, even look at the Hello, other upgrade. Two, power and shell completed. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Everything a man needs. So it finally happened. Satisfactory 1.0. Out of early access in 2019, we've been waiting six years almost now for this thing. I've been very excited. I've been waiting patiently since, I don't know, update two, update three, something like that. I haven't even built a train. So I've done early game over and over and over, and I've played with mods a whole bunch, and I, I got stuck playing with the architecture so much. So I've put 900 hours into this game, and I've never even been into mid-game. Now I'm gonna try and get all the way through it. So, without putting it off any longer, let's begin. Everybody usually starts in the grass fields. Traditionally, nostalgia dictates that everyone begins here because at the beginning, when it first left early access, this was the only option. When you played Satisfactory, you started here. But since the others have come out, I have found that a popular favorite nowadays is the Northern Forest. And in the hours that I have played the game, the Northern Forest is where I like to start as well. So given that there's been many changes in 1.0, I think that starting in the Northern Forest is the best call, because by starting in some place that I'm familiar with, I'll be able to easily recognize the changes that have happened in 1.0. So we're going to start in Northern Forest. We're not going to skip the intro, we want to see the whole game. Let us begin. Separation from main transport complete. Group A delivered to Calistian region. Ooh. All pioneers functional, initiating dispersion. Of how many groups? Can I see the- Attention pioneer, I am Ada, your Hi. personal instance of the artificial directory and assistant. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Fixit Incorporated Save the Day program. A Fixit pioneer has three core assignments. Construct. All pioneers must follow Fixit guidelines and instructions when constructing any building. Automate. Every pioneer is responsible for setting up and managing efficient pipelines, outposts, and power infrastructure. Explore and exploit. Fix-it selected planets are rich with resources suitable for direct use or further investigation. Stay within your designated. What? And that is why the world is counting on pioneers like you. Wait, Fix why? Short-term solutions to long-term problems. What was that? Are we just floating in space? What's going on? Planet fall. Planet fall. Atmospheric entry in three, two, one. Beginning arrow assist. Oh God! Drag within acceptable parameters. We're on fire. That's acceptable. Uh. Descent phase begun. Decelerating. Parachute. You're gonna burn it. Deploying backup parachute. Uh, see? Skipping parachute. <laughs> Landing phase begun. Activating retro propulsion. Looks like re retro propulsion is working. Was there any pre flight checks or pre fall Touchdown. checks? Touchdown, nice. Drop pod integrity nominal. Omni situational exploration suit nominal. Pioneer, acceptable. I am acceptable. Congratulations. You are the third in your region to survive planet fall. Welcome Yay. to Massage 2, A, B, B, in the binary system of Akicha. Loading objective based introduction. Begin onboarding. That was, what the hell is that? First contact safety tool supplied due to presence of alien megafauna. Adhere to Fixit procedure and equip the Fixit Inc. Xeno Zapper before leaving the drop zone. Hmm? Oh, uh, right. There's another one. Next objective. Dismantle the drop pod. 
Fixit Incorporated is cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. The drop pod will be recycled to construct the first stage of the habitat and utility base, often referred to as the hub. What? Must be that, that thing. Whoop. Ah, uh, there we go. Next objective. Use the resource scanner to find and collect additional iron to be able to build the hub. If you cannot find iron, be assured scans of the planet have revealed sufficient iron sources. Uh, hold V to bring up the resource scanner. Hold V. Up. Up. 443 meters away. That's pretty... Far away. The noise. We picking these up. Gonna need them. Whoa, what's that? Unknown metal collected. This metallic element is showing properties similar to those in group 11 on the periodic table, such as high conductivity and malleability. Store this potential resource for later use. Like gold? All of the sticks and the leaves and the grass. We were going. Ah. Spooky. This way. Lots of sounds. What's... Oh, it's the thing. I don't. Get back. Oh dear. Uh. We're standing in the stuff. Oh, there's a drop pod. Uh, can I make this? I bet I can make this. Oh. Yep. Yeah. There uh, we go. Let's take out these. You're trespassing on Fix-It property. Ow. You violated Fix-It protocol. Samples of new alien species acquired. Notable features are blunt teeth, suggesting it is herbivorous, and a thickly plated skull and spine, oh. suggesting it is proficient at inflicting and receiving blunt force trauma. I noticed. Preserve the remains for later study. It's awfully um, aggressive for being herbivious. <coughs> there we go. Let's see what we got here. We got plates. Anything else? Obviously, there's more, but. Ooh, supercomputer. Nice. Plates. There's nothing. Just rods. Copper. They don't appear to be hostile. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Doggo. Here we are. Home sweet home. The flat. Where everyone starts. I did start somewhere else last time. Found another spot. Wonder where that was. I'll find it. We'll add more, more factory there. But this is a fine spot to start. This is fine. This is a, this is a great spot. Lots of people start here. I've started here lots. Get some iron. I think that this is one of the spots also that they moved things around in. Oh, we got visitors. Well, I, they were here first, but now I've declared them visitors. Missed. What are you doing there? All right, so our our goal in this episode is to complete the onboarding process. This is the tier zero. Get some iron. Next objective, use the build gun to construct the hub. Iron is a base component necessary for all near future progress. So ensure you build the hub close to iron sources. Yes. Fix it does not pay by the kilometer. No, they don't. Well, no, no you can stop, stop, stop. Long distance mining there. Go ahead and get this. And you're interdimensionally mining. That's well, all kinds of tricks. Clink, 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 clink. Okay, here we go. Pick up some plants. Just trying to get this whole place cleared, cleared of plants, cleaned up. It's all going to become factory floor anyway. Probably the near nearby cliffs as well. All those up there will get cleared out and turned into factory floor. Calm down. Oh, and Bean's back. Welcome back, Bean. I should be waiting and doing this at night. I'm almost done now, though. Oh, my inventory's already full. I didn't realize I had so much. Okay, the hub can be moved around, so... Oh, I'm gonna put it here for now, but it'll definitely move. Ah. There we go. Hub foundation Hubbed. built. The hub terminal and crafting bench are only the humble beginnings of a successful fix-it pioneer, but essential for the next steps of onboarding. 
Once finished, the hub will function as your base of operations. Next objective, complete hub upgrade one. Mm-hmm, hub. Wow. Here's zero. Hub upgrade one. We can get a workshop, portable miner, and plus one on the equipment slot. Plus one hand. They're gonna give me a hand. I already have some of these. I found them. Away. I didn't grab the thing though. Hub upgrade one. Storage and frame completed. Equipment like the portable miner can now be made in the workshop. Congratulations on completing your first milestone, the first of many providing access to new recipes and technologies for the Fix-It mission. Next objective, complete hub upgrade two. Upgrade two, melter, power line, go for it. We have those things. Go. I didn't see, even look at the hub other upgrade. upgrade. Two, power and shell completed. The uh. smelter can turn raw ore such as copper and iron into ingots, and the biomass burner generates power when fueled. Fun fact, most of the native flora and fauna is compatible with Fix-It technology. Fueling the biomass burner with inappropriate materials will result in deductions or even cancellation of your yearly bonus. Next oh. objective, complete hub upgrade 3. Put stuff away. Wait, you know, give me that. Yeah, look at this, wow. Everything a man needs. All right, hub upgrade three. Well, bam, get concrete going. Milestone. We have two of those things. We need copper. I happen to know that copper is right over here. Oops. Got some copper now. We only need 20 wire, so whoops, over here. The ingots, there, that'll do it. Hub upgrade three, interior furnishing completed. The interior furnishing? Simple parts and power poles allow for the expansion of the power grid. Ah. When you make the inevitable mistake, fix its dismantling feature is designed to salvage all resources used during construction in the line inevitable. with our zero waste policy. We understand that fix it pioneers are only human and thus prone to error. Next objective, complete hub upgrade four. Thank you for acknowledging that I am an inferior organism and will inevitably make a mistake. Look at all of this. There's beds. Hey, hey, look at this. Nice. Different helmets. What is this? <laughs> cool guns and different trinkets and things. Oh, there's some gold ones. Only pioneers who carried fix it during its founding. Oh, nice, because I was part of the early access process. Yeah, I was there from the very, very beginning, day one. I'm all about this game. I'm going to put my gold stuff on. But I, I don't know, the helmet, I kind of want to match. We do gold stuff here, though, because it's, it's just, I like this helmet. I don't, this one's just a basic one. Black, like a cool blue, blacky. Clap, clap. More yellow. Whoa. Yellowest. There, do like a really dark gray. Matches the kind of gloves and hats and stuff. There, I'm happy with that. My gold stuff. Got my blue and black. Oh, kitchen, the toilet. Interact with toilet. Oh my God, it has a slot. Oh, that's right, I've, I vaguely remember this. The 1.0 toilet thing. So it's a trash can. You can just throw stuff away in the toilet. They're like a, eat a flush. Wow, that's a big splash. It took forever to, Oh my god, it's such a mess. Oh Jesus. It's gone. That's it. No, don't don't do that. Alright. Well, this is pretty fancy. Onward. What's the next objective? Hub upgrade four. Conveyors. Yes. Milestone. We need cable. 20 cable and 10 10 concrete. Although we don't have is that the closest? I kinda wanna start in the other spot, to be honest. This is it's a cool spot for a factory, but where's that other spot? This one's nice because there's Few drop pods nearby even though that one's like got bugs and there is at least there was coal i think i still see it coal over there and there's i mean there's lots of good stuff in there which is all right next to this area i think there's bugs up here too limestone wow please don't hurt aha oh, well, the lighting changed weird okay we got copper need 20 to get this up to 40. we don't have that much copper barely almost enough I haven't made any buildings yet. How long can I go? I don't even have a portable miner yet. Okay, okay, I'm done. I didn't realize it was gonna go forever. I was just sitting there waiting for it. Here, yes, this. Okay, there's that. How much, uh, really 10. Okay, that's probably the end of that. Hub upgrade four, landing platform and utilities completed. 
Conveyor belts connect the output of one building to the input of another and transport resources. Due to past incidents I have been asked to issue a clarification, portable miners, obviously, do not have a connection for conveyor belts. There is nothing to suggest, visually or functionally, that they can be connected to portable miners. If this is something you struggle with, do not worry. Fixit has alternative uses for all their pioneers. Next objective. Complete hub upgrade 5. Let's see it. Cool. Wait. I have some of that. All beans back. Need these though. Make at least three of them. I can make six though. I make six. I can put two on each. Whoa. Animation's very cool. Pop another one of those down there. Bean. Head over to copper. The pure node, okay. Then the last two are for the limestone ball. There's that. I don't know what's down there. I wonder how I'd even get back up though. Sorry, my thing's in the way there. Structure mm. and a smelter. Missing eight wire. Okay, so I need to make at least make one of each. Start with that. We need eight wire, eight wire, eight cable. There. One of each. You're in the way, Bean. There you go. Thank you. Then a constructor. Somewhere. There. Now you, hold on. Should have made them over here. They're just gonna go wherever. Doesn't matter. It doesn't, doesn't matter really. There's those. Yeah, we need cable, power. Uh, yeah, we'll probably need, could need two. Oh, two, what? Oh, I didn't account for the cable. There go. That works. You can, <laughs> do I have any? Oh yeah, let's do the rounds. Let's do the rounds and get, grab all, grab all. Run in, run in. Oh my god, the very, very early game, the beginning. Grab all, grab all, get all the copper, limestone. Whoa. Ugh. Gotta save. Cannot harm us yet. Oh yeah, duh. Uh, iron, go. Do ironing. Make rods. Do I have any? No, it would show up up here. Do I have? I do have belts. It is like I said that. I told you. Okay, making rods now. Get up to 75. We only need 40. And then we'll switch this to uh wire we can handcraft the concrete that's fine do that now while we're waiting for the rods to craft there's the concrete this is not even anywhere close to where it should be there's halfway there now it'll make wire now rods we need forever yeah. need a hundred wire might as well help it along i can handcraft it way faster than it can craft it well one can craft it though that's true so get the get 50 wire made then go check on it and see where it is 81 like 20 that was enough Make the cable. Well, it's overdone it, but whatever. Well, bam. Hub upgrade five, power expansion completed. The miner, unlike portable miners, can be connected to conveyor belts and requires power to function. Caution, as you expand, the energy demand of your production may exceed the capacity of your power grid. The no, onboarding duh. program was established because Fixit pioneers often experience memory issues after planetfall. If you are experiencing nosebleeds, nausea, existentialism, or an itchy scalp, there is no need for concern. Oh. This should pass within five to seven work days. Next objective, complete hub upgrade six. Upgrade six, how many are there? The space elevator, this is the last one. Whoa, bam. Now we can like really get things moving, get things going here. So we can set up stuff now. Does it say how much power it requires? Four megawatts, five megawatts, okay. So we know what our grid is. Capacity is 40 currently. So we want 32, it was 32 I think. Oh, just enough power between those to have an, one of each on each of the, the things, which would make sense. And uh, we don't, don't even need a, we only need a constructor up there for that one. We'll start here, finer. Oh wait, Ralph, we need one, two, three, 
one, two, three, one, two, I mean, two smelters and three constructors. Make all our stuff. The portable miners are there already, so we don't need to make those. Make sure that I have enough on top of that new storage container right now. Make a crafting bench. No. Not a crafting rent bench. An oh, equipment workshop. Right? No. Never mind. Anyway, iron plate, concrete, iron rods, reinforced iron plates. I think I have a couple of those. Uh, and cable. There. Pick up miner. Plop it down. We got a smelter then in front of that. Smelter. Control. Nice. Then a constructor in front of that. Connect them with belts. Oh, the belts are going to eat up stuff, though. All right. Set these up. So this one is iron ore set to iron ingot, set to iron plate. We're going to have to one to one or I'm going to have to switch this up every once in a while. That's what I'm going to have to do. I can't have multiple. I don't have the power to support multiple mines yet. Melter. A constructor. You are copper, copper, and wire. Connect them with belts. Surprise that worked. More iron plates. And whoa. Miner. So we'll obviously move with a constructor in front of it. Built them together. Oh man. Really? A uh, crafting bench, right? Oh, I don't have materials for that either. No. Oh, that hurt. My ankle. What? Oh, cable. I thought I was reducing plates. It wasn't even that. Able. Whoa, I almost just ran right off the edge. Okay. Make all of this. There. Limestone comes out. Goes into concrete. Ah. Oh, don't have wire. I don't know if I had to come down here or not. Okay, so this has to go this way. Will it reach all the way up there? We'll find out. It does. Hold on. There. Now these both have power up here. I can make this a storage container. Or not. I need rods. Crap bench. Rods. One. Alright, cool. There's that. That'll load up for us over time. Same with this over here. In concrete already. The right work. We're, we're gonna start gathering things up now. That already have four on it now. Oh, I'm missing cable. Always something. These are powered. Oh, I can't do that. Um, need a double. Don't have <laughs> wire. Wire's too long. Is it though? Needs to be as long as possible. Yeah, it works. Uh, storage container though. Oh, that's a rough. Plates and rods. Can't make plates and rods without plates and rods. What is this making again? Plates. There's some bean. That even gonna, oh, it does. Amazing. Tumble on in there. I don't know how that works, but it does. Making cable or making wire. Yeah, 100, uh, 100, 100 wire, 100 plates, 100 rods, 50 concrete. Just kind of keep circling, circling, keep doing the rounds, and we will have what we need. Take that over there is powered. This is powered. That's powered. How much concrete do we have? Seven. No, we can make 76. We have 73. There's plenty. Check the copper or check the wire, rather. 80. Plates are at half. We can switch this to rods. It's going to take a while, so almost there. Yeah, there's the plates. 20. Wow. Okay. We got 20. I'm going to make 50. Do where it's at probably didn't make 50 while I made 50. Actually, I guarantee you it didn't make. I 100% know that it didn't. 15. Okay, well, we can make the last 15. It makes 15 for every 50. Interesting. There we go. Oh, whoops, wire. Need 20 more. Not a problem. Bam. Hub upgrade six. Landing platform hydraulics completed. Freighter landing initialized. Congratulations, you have completed onboarding and achieved the absolute minimum skill level required of a fix-it pioneer. 
Fixit looks forward to your future achievements because a future with Fixit is a future with you. Yay! Two one and two milestones are now available in the hub, and biomass burners can now be built individually. Your first official objective is to initiate project assembly by building the space elevator. This objective will take a significant amount of resources, so Fixit recommends getting to work. Righto, that's it for episode one. We are now on to tier one base building, and we'll start that in the next episode. I might be able to record some tomorrow. I probably not. We're probably gonna, just gonna stream it. The power shut down. Oh dear.